Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Neo stock and a very important news headline that I saw. So I really haven't seen anyone else make a video about this, which I found pretty surprising. And I believe that it's actually a really important uh, headline and a really important article. So let's look into what article I'm talking about. So here I found an article that talked about BYD and Neo face tariffs as Europe mandates durable EV batteries and range monitoring. So I was reading it and essentially what it talks about is that Neo and Xpeng and BYD are expanding pretty rapidly and the European Commission is you know they're confused and they don't like having competitors because they're very you know prideful of their own brands like Mercedes and BMW so what the European Commission talked about and it says here in the bottom that he's very much in favor of opening a dumping investigation into the Chinese EV brands so those are BYD and NEO. Now, this is really important because NEO is already a very expensive car in the Netherlands, right, in Europe. So we saw in my previous video that the car was almost $80,000. So imagine they're putting a 10%, 50% tariff, which would actually still be low compared to other countries, right? We know that Trump did a tariff on China of like 20% or 25%. So who knows what Europe might do. They might actually increase it to 20, 25, 30%. And that would affect NEO in a huge way. So I do believe that this is why NEO has been dropping a little bit because Europe has always been part of their big expansion plan, right? NEO has always wanted to go into Europe and they feel like Europe is their, you know, their international market that they believe is really, really powerful and has a lot of growth potential which I do also believe. I believe that if NIO were to go international, their only other market that outside of China would be Europe, right? I, if you go to Europe, you'll see a lot of Cayenne Porsches, you'll see a lot of X-Series BMW, you also see a lot of big Mercedes. So I do think that those cars are really appealing to Europeans and NIO happens to also sell those types of cars, right? Unlike in the US, you have more F-150s and Teslas, However, in Europe, I actually do think that NEO has the best shot of being successful. But with these tariffs that could be um, affecting NEO pretty soon, right? This could happen next year or in two years. I do think that that is a big, big headwind for NEO and also for BYD or for Xpeng or for every other car manufacturer. So why is it only Chinese brands are affected by the European tariffs? And why isn't Mercedes or Tesla or GM affected by this, right? So for example, Mercedes, you know, they make their cars in Germany, right? So that will also help Tesla compared to NIO, right? So Tesla really doesn't have that problem that much because they have so many factories around the world. So they can just ship it from other places that might not get as high of a tariff. So NEO only has a factory in China, of course, same as BYD. So I do think that this is going to hurt them. And it should be something that we are going to consider in our um, analysis of NEO, right? Because it's already a luxury brand. So there's already a set number of customers. And now with a price increase, essentially, it might actually be harder to sell these cars for NEO. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think of this potential tariff that might affect Chinese stocks. And please like and subscribe. That would help me tremendously. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.